What is up, bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher, and today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, I know you may be thinking that it's ridiculously early to be talking about this, and you're basically right. But recently, some rumors have come afloat, and I think it really needs to be sorted out which part of this rumors is true, which part is false, and what part is just complete bullshit and people are making it up. Because there's very little differentiation between that amongst people who are, are talking about this and are making videos about it. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is, who are we getting this information from and how reputable is that source? Well, where did this information stem from? A guy, a single guy named Marcus Sellers. Now, who is Marcus Sellers? His description of himself is a writer, a reviewer, and an editor for several different Nintendo kind of blogs. The first question we have to ask is how reputable is this source? As far as how many followers he has or anything like that, he's not a huge guy. He's not only has around 4,000 followers on Twitter, and the places he writes for aren't very big distributors either. So, first of all, this guy has nothing to lose in giving out false information. And in fact, when I scrolled through his Twitter, he did have some pretty great predictions. A lot of his tweets were actually right about various Nintendo games, about the Switch as a whole. He did a pretty good job with that, but at the same time, there were a lot of things that he tweeted out that simply turned out to be false. It seemed like he was almost 50-50 on his predictions. Also, the types of news that this guy tweets out and gives information on generally are things that are rumors, things that are being speculated, things that aren't 100% confirmed, but if you do some research, you can get a pretty good guess on them. So, how reputable is the source? I would definitely say not 100%, but he has gotten things right in the past. Now, what did Marcus have to say about the next Call of Duty game? He said, Call of Duty 2018 is Black Ops 4 and is coming to PS4, Xbox, PC, and Switch. It is set to be in modern times and is a boots-on-the-ground game. The Switch version will support DLC, HD rumble, and motion controls. The Switch version is also being ported by a company which is familiar with COD games. So before I actually read this to you, I mentioned that Marcus didn't have a huge following. Now there was a reason why I mentioned that. Generally speaking, when someone doesn't have a huge following or does not work for a company, there is no negative repercussions for giving out false information. Whereas if you're a giant video game news company, something like IGN, and give out false information, you get much, much more backlash. So, for a small writer slash reviewer, it's really not a huge deal if he kind of gets some of these predictions wrong. However, after he tweeted this out, Eurogamer, a giant video game news company, came out and supported this. They said that they have also heard from multiple sources that the next Call of Duty game is going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And that support behind that gives us some pretty good intel that yes, the next Call of Duty game will be called Black Ops 4. But how about the rest of the tweet? How much of the rest of his tweet is actually true? And how much can we actually trust from it? Well, let's kind of break it down and look at several different parts of this. So first things first, if we are looking at this just simply as a prediction, I actually said way back in September that I almost 100% thought that the next Call of Duty game was going to be Black Ops 4, simply because of how well selling the past Black Ops Call of Duty games were. They're some of the best selling Call of Duty games of all time, and because of that, it would just make sense for Treyarch to come out with their next game being Black Ops 4. So that's really not a hard prediction to make whatsoever. However, the next thing that Marcus Sellers said was that the next Call of Duty game, Black Ops 4, would be a modern times Call of Duty game and to be boots on the ground. This one's a little bit more difficult to believe, yet it is possible. The reason why I say that is because Black Ops 1, 2, and 3 were all set during different time periods, so it's not unreasonable to think that Black Ops 4 could be at a completely different period of time. On top of that, why do I think that this is unlikely, or maybe not even unlikely, but kind of hard to predict? Well, the last Call of Duty game that Treyarch produced was, of course, Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 had the 3D movement style. You could wall run, you could slide, you could jump and boost jump up into the air. Not only this, Black Ops 3 was the top-selling Call of Duty game of all time. It actually went on to outsell Modern Warfare 3, which is shocking. And some people don't even believe it to this point, but I promise you it's true. I've looked at all the numbers. I wouldn't lie to you guys about something like that. And to go from a 3D-style movement game that is the top-selling Call of Duty game of all time to one that is now boots on the ground, I would find to be a little bit odd. Is it 
out of the question? Absolutely not. In fact, with the support behind Call of Duty World War II's boots on the ground style, it would actually wouldn't be surprising at all. So, am I saying that this prediction is wrong? No, but it is still hard to believe. As far as the modern times Call of Duty game goes, the only reason why I would question that is because the big rumor right now is that the next Infinity Ward game to come out is going to be Modern Warfare 4, and to have two back-to-back -back Modern Warfare games I would find to be a little suspicious, and by no means do I know for sure that the next game will be Modern Warfare 4, it would just make sense. Because of how bad Infinite Warfare did, I feel like the only way Infinity Ward can really redeem themselves is by going back to their bread and butter, the Modern Warfare series. So out of this whole leak, the thing I find most suspicious is that exactly, that this game is going to be a Modern Times game. However, could it be? Could it be this Modern Times Call of Duty game? Absolutely. There's nothing to say that it couldn't be that. However, I would personally like to see either a Vietnam War or a Cold War era Call of Duty game. I would really like to see that. It's been a while since we've seen anything like that, and that's just kind of what I'd like to see. But I'm curious, what type of Call of Duty game would you guys like to see? A modern era Call of Duty game, futuristic like Black Ops 3, or maybe even going all the way back to World War II again? Let me know what you think down in the comments. That's what I'm really curious to hear about about this. And then the final part of this rumor that we need to touch on is the idea that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is going to be coming to the Nintendo Switch. And this one, I think, is just kind of obvious. The reason why I say that is, if you didn't already know, the Nintendo Switch, as of right now, is the fastest selling gaming console. I believe it's outselling the PS4 by three times, which is absolutely insane. Now, by no means does this mean there is more Nintendo Switches out there than PS4s, it just means that currently, it is the fastest selling console. So there would be a big missed market if Call of Duty didn't come to the Nintendo Switch. The other thing that it says at the end of this is this Switch version is also going to be ported by a company which is familiar with COD games. I would assume the company they mean by that is Raven Studios. That's the team that ported uh, Call of Duty World War II to the PC. Um, and I really wouldn't be surprised to see them work on it. The only thing that I would find odd about that is I don't know if Raven has ever actually brought any games to the Nintendo Switch, so that might be a little suspect, but that would probably be the studio, I would guess, to do the porting. So the two things that I would take away from this, it being pretty much fact, is the idea that the next Call of Duty game is called Black Ops 4. Is it 100% confirmed? No, but everything is leading to that. The sales of past Call of Duty games, different insider reports, and now this news as well. We kind of have to assume that as of right now, it's like 95% confirmed that the next game will be Black Ops 4. On top of that, I really wouldn't be surprised to see the next Call of Duty game come to the Nintendo Switch. In fact, I would put my money on it as well. So once again, not a surprise. I could definitely see that happening. As far as it being a modern times Call of Duty game with boots on the ground, that is the one thing I would take with a grain of salt. I definitely don't think that's confirmed, and I would say that it's probably less than 50% confirmed. So... That is the part that's suspect. The rest of this is pretty solidly set in stone. The one other thing I wanted to touch on with this video is that normally for Call of Duty games, the big leaks that we get for the next Call of Duty game happen before E3, which would be kind of like the April to May time period. Some of the earlier leaks we've got for past Call of Duty games have been around the late March area. So this is extremely early for Call of Duty leaks. That's the only other reason why I would say be careful of what you hear with these leaks. It is still extremely, extremely early to the point where the developers could still change some very, very large aspects of the game. So take everything you hear with a grain of salt, even the things I say, take them with a grain of salt, and kind of be skeptical about what people are saying about this. But now I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. What would you like to see out of Treyarch's next game? Would you like to see another Black Ops entry? Would you like to see something brand new? And on top of that, where would you like it to take place? In the past, in the future, or in modern times? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, if you're new to the channel and like what you see, it'd be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed the video, it'd be fantastic if you'd hit that like button. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, peace out.